Hi, I have just upgraded my 3018 uh, Prover uh, to a 500 watt spindle motor. As you can see, I have replaced the, the plastic spindle holder with the Zane Smart aluminum holder for the larger diameter motor. I have also, uh, on the motor, I installed some Anderson power pole connectors, which is a, an easy, uh, quick release. Uh, to these cables that go to this power supply. Now, what I want to talk about on this power supply, this is not that cheap power supply everyone's using that's not isolated from the mains. Uh, this is a zero to 48 volt power supply. You can see that the red and the black connectors are going to the plus and minus outputs. And this knob right here adjusts the output voltage. Now, you don't want to be turning on a power switch all the time to turn on this. So what I have here is a solid state relay and it is in the, uh, it is in the line of the mains coming in uh, to right here. So all I have to do is trigger it right here with, uh, I believe they say, what is it? Uh, three to 32 volts DC. And for that drive, I am using what was the spindle output on the uh, uh, Prover 3018 board. And uh, the beauty of doing this instead of, a, instead of a mechanical relay is that the solid state relay um, is you know looking for that voltage of, what is it, three to 32, and the output is pulse width modulated. So the amplitude is the same at all voltages. Uh, so if I'm running a very, very low voltage, the amplitude is still 24 volts. So it should be able to switch on at a very, very low voltage. So what I'm gonna do here real quick is I am gonna demonstrate that. I am gonna turn on the spindle motor here. Now notice I have no control, no control whatsoever of the speed here. No control at all. I would have to use the manual, you see 49.9 volts. I would have to use this manual control here to adjust the voltage going to the motor. And uh, that's the way most uh, people that install these upgrades use this. And I can't live with that. I need to have it where my software controls the, uh, the speed of the spindle motor. So, what I'm going to do, first thing I'm going to do is turn off the spindle. And you notice that it has turned off. I'm going to remove, this is going to be hard to do holding this uh, phone. I'm going to remove this. And this right here, that connector, goes to that uh, variable resistor. Uh, that's internal to this power supply. And I am going to connect this. And this is a cable that I made. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect this. I may have to set this down for a while. This is hard to do. I'm gonna place that there. Okay, so now I have that on the other end. I am going to go on this prover board. There's actually, there's some pulse width modulated outputs. And this last one is a zero to five volt output. I'm gonna plug it right there. Cause it turns out that the control voltage, which would be the wiper of that um, uh, variable resistor is the center pin and the top pin is five volts. The lower one is the V minus. So what I'm gonna do is send five volts to the center pin, which should be the same as turning the, uh, that uh, potentiometer up all the way. So let's give it a shot. So I'm back here. I'll bring this up. Let's see, turn that on. And we can see that it's moving. And look at the voltage, it's at 32 volts. I'm gonna go ahead, so I do have control of it now. 
I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up all the way. So at 12,000 RPM, I'm only at 46 and a half volts instead of 48. The reason for this is the output impedance of this is around 1250 ohms. And the input impedance of this on that control, which is the center pin on the three conductor um, JST connector is about 10K. So we're losing a little bit. So there is a way to recover this. And what you need is a little bit of a pull up resistor. And what I have done is I have actually, you can see it, I have a pull up resistor wired into that, which I'm going to select, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna connect that to the V plus, which is the large red wire here. All three of those terminals are V plus. So I'm gonna connect it to that. So give me a second to do that. Can't tell you how hard this is to do while holding the phone, but I'm gonna try. Okay, this resistor value is 100,000 ohms. So that goes from the V plus to that same control pin, which is the middle one of that uh, JST connector. So hopefully we'll gain a few volts when I turn it up all the way. Let's give it a shot. That's good, 50.8 volts with it up all the way, 50.7. So now what we've done is we've upgraded the motor and we still have control from software, which is what I had intended to do. So I think this is probably the better way of upgrading to the 500, 500 watt motor. Anyway, uh, I will, uh, I'll include some links to the products I use, the power supply, the, uh, same smart aluminum spindle holder and the 500 watt motor. This is a, uh, this motor does have brushes. You can do the same kind of thing with one of those that is a brushless motor, but uh, maybe I'll do that another time. But for right now, uh, I think I'm done with this. And uh, uh, please uh, uh, post your uh, comments or questions. Thank you.